Hello, and welcome to this episode of Flyby, presented by the National Model Aviation Museum. I'm your host, Claire, and today I'll be talking about Marilyn Monroe and drones. Not those kinds of drones. The drones I'm talking about today are UAVs, or unmanned air vehicles. They're controlled either by a person on the ground or autonomously by computers on board. Today I'll be talking about the first mass-produced manufactured drone in the United States, the OQ-2A. The OQ-2A was manufactured at the radio plane plant in Van Nuys, California. On June 26, 1945, an army photographer visited the factory looking for Hollywood hopefuls. He photographed a young woman who was working as an assembler there named Norma Jean. She eventually went on to be a world-renowned actress named Marilyn Monroe. Our sources indicate that Norma Jean's initials are stamped on the inside of the wing of our OQ-2A. An interesting design element of the OQ-2A are the concentrically shafted contra-rotating propellers. They were designed in this way to eliminate torque during flight. Another interesting design element of the OQ-2A is the 24-foot parachute. The OQ-2A is controlled by five radio frequencies. The first four dictate directionality, up, down, right, and left. The fifth dictates the deployment of the parachute. If the parachute fails to be deployed, sometimes the dead stick method is used to land the aircraft. The dead stick method is used when propulsion is cut and the aircraft is forced to make a landing. Of the 15,000 OQ-2As that were produced during World War II, only a few exist today. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of Flyby. As always, please leave your questions, ideas, and suggestions in the comments section. Follow us on social media for updates on current projects, new donations, and behind the scenes historical air modeling information. We always appreciate your feedback. If you notice any discrepancies in the information provided or you have additional information, please email us at museum at modelaircraft.org.